Hello everyone, last week I had the Volkswagen ID.5 GTX and now here I have the Volkswagen ID.5 Pro model year 2026 with ID software 5.4. If your company has electric cars as company cars, of course you want your employee to charge at home. It's cheaper for you and it's easier for the employee. Tronity has a software solution for you to know how much you have to pay your employee for charging at home. With the fleet manager you manage your employees and your cars. Tronity connects to the cars and knows exactly when the car is charging at home and how much. And then you get an easy monthly bill for your employee. If you want to know more there's a link in the description below. The two cars have only two little differences when it comes to technology. This car only has the rear wheel drive motor, 210 kilowatt, 286 horsepower, where the GTX was all wheel drive and 250 kilowatt. And this also has a 77 kilowatt hour battery, not the 79 that the GTX has. Design wise the cars are basically the same, it's that here it says ID5 in the GTX, it says GTX and also inside the car in the GTX you have the name even in the door, then here, then in the, in the way it says here ID and also in the steering wheel. There's also no difference in the infotainment system except for the drive mode. With all-wheel drive you get the drive mode traction as well. If you want to know what changed with ID Software 5.4 from 4.0, 5.0 and 5.2, I, in the video of the GTX where I show the GTX, um, you will also find everything that's new with 5.4. But again, this is the exact same software, same hardware, just different motor. The main difference is since this is just rear wheel drive you have a smaller turning circle which is great but you also have less power and also something that I maybe said wrong with the GTX with since 5.2 you get the privacy uh, accepting message but you can just drive on it goes away by itself and a lot of times so when I drive the day and I park and come back in and unlock it doesn't even appear again it maybe comes in the morning but then throughout the day I think the car has to stand for a while till this uh, button uh, appears and again it goes away by itself if you start driving if you get into the car and you have to do something with the infotainment system then yes you have to press ok so you can get in but you don't have to and by the way I put now all of my assist things that I don't need a speed limit warning, lane assist and a driver atten not attention that you're tired or something. I, can, I put all of them in my vehicle favorites and just turn them off. Now there's something else different with this car than the GTX car that I had till this Monday, so three days ago. It's the tires. On the GTX I had 21 inch tires, maybe even sport tires. This car here has 19 inch winter tires on and oh my god is the drive comfort different and way more comfortable in this car. This is way closer to my ID7 than the, the, than the other car. The other car it was really a bit bumpy with the 21 inch wheels and not horrible but not great this is awesome the power with 210 to 250 kilowatt doesn't seem like it's a lot but we'll see at the acceleration it's over a second difference and you feel it also when you have to pass when you're accelerating 210 kilowatt rear wheel drive to the 250 kilowatt all wheel drive it's a big difference the interaction with the car, cruise control, steering assist, all of this is exactly the same. There's no difference um, and everything works nice. Cruise control is amazing. Steering assist even on a country road is already okay. On the highway it's really good. Acceleration time. I have draggy GPS measurement outside of the car. Here the phone with the app and I'm gonna go to a little stretch where there's nothing going on and then accelerate from 0 to 100 kilometers an hour. Yeah, acceleration is significantly 
lower than or less than in the GTX 6.52 seconds I think with the GTX I had 5.3 something so 1.2 1 1.1 seconds and you feel it when you accelerate it's in the GTX there's some there's way more punch but now it's highway time with the 19 inch wheels I want to see how the loudness is at 130 and we drive if we can for a short second the top speed 180 130 and I really think it's quieter with the 19 inch wheels I think so yeah at 180 I don't see any wind but it feels like I'm moving around a bit more than with the 21 inch wheels and I don't know if it's the size or summer and winter tires but definitely this car is less stable at 180 than the GTX with the 21 inch summer tires regenerative braking by the way is exactly the same even though in the all-wheel drive you have two motors and you think you have more region but no it's the same okay so the id5 pro is really a great car go for the 19 inch wheels you get way more comfort don't get the 21 inch wheels they look better it's totally true if you want a bit more power you should get the gtx version for sure um, but if this is enough for you and you cannot go faster in the GTX 180 is top speed in both it's just the acceleration and if you want the traction of, of the all-wheel drive of course if you want to follow me on Instagram better left one and if you want to support the channel there's a patreon link in the description below and here on YouTube there's also channel membership and if you want to know what's happening behind the scenes I have a third YouTube channel behind the battery but that's it for me thank you much for watching have a great day and take care bye